हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज धनुश्री एंड इट्स माय चैनल गंगा एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल लाइक माय वीडियोस एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स आल्सो फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोस रिलेटिंग टू लॉ आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय एमए बीएड एम फिल एल एल एम फ्रॉम वेरियस यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफ महाराष्ट्र आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय एल एल एम फ्रॉम क्रिमिनल लॉ ब्रांच एंड qualified in set exam in law the title of video itself suggests that this lecture is going to deal with criminology and correctional administration this is syllabus of mumbai university of subject criminology and correctional administration we were studying punishment of offenders and in that we are going to discuss powers of prison officers which are mentioned in 4.3.4 prison officers play very important role in prisoners life because they are guardian wards of the prisoners prison officers have to tackle with the habitual offenders as well as a first time offenders also prison officers are responsible for safe custody treatment and reformation of the prisoners so let's discuss who are the prison officers and what are the powers and duties let's discuss who are the prison officials first inspector general of prisons second joint inspector general of prisons next special officers next jail superintendent next medical officer next jailer next assistant jailer and next medical subordinates etc from the inspector general of the prisons to gatekeeper they are very important persons in prisons life every jail officer must discharge certain duties they are also entrusted with some powers they perform them under control and supervision of his superior officers the efficiency of jail administration depends to the great extent upon the quality of its officials and their sense of responsibility all of them are responsible for safe custody good treatment and reformation of the prisoners individually they are responsible for the performance of their respective duties the prison officers have to discharge some duties and they are entrusted with some powers also they have to do a proper administration of the prison they are responsible for safe custody a proper treatment and reformation of the prisoners they have to convert the prisoners into into law abiding citizens hence some powers and duties are entrusted with them let's discuss the power and duties of the jail officers inspector general of prisons the inspector general of prisons is administrative head of the jail department he is responsible for execution of the policies formulated by the government he is also a chief executive officer of the head office of the jail department powers of igp he has power to supervise and control the administration of different jail in the state it is also his duty to give his sanction or approval where necessary as we discussed earlier he is the head of administration of the jail he has a power to supervise and control over the administration of different jail in the state 
he has also duty to give sanction or approval where it is necessary second power given to the igp he can take disciplinary action against all officers who are appointed by him the jail officials must comply with his orders igp is head of the officers other subordinate officers must comply with his orders and he can also take a disciplinary action against the officers who are appointed by him next power given to the igp he has to exercise the power of magistrate of the first class within the limits of every prison within his jurisdiction means he exercise the power given to the magistrate of first class the inspector general of the prisons controls jails of his jurisdiction he can submit a budget annually to the government for the administration of the jail in the state the jail expenditure submitted to and audited by him monthly but some expenditures are not under his control namely charges for public works which are regulated by public works department charges for stationery supplies by the stationery department and charges for medical stores supplied by the medical store department the igp has control over the jails of his jurisdiction he has to submit a budget annually to the government for administration of the jail in the st- in that state he has to audit and submit the jail expenditure monthly but other expenditures like charges for public works or charges for stationery supply or the charges for medical store may be given by a respected department such expenditures are not under control of the igp next power given to igp is the igp is the authority to sanction all expenditure of jail provided that there is budget provision he can sanction expenditure for each item up to 2500 rupees in case of public works in a jail the igp can sanction up to 5000 rupees for each item for any purchase exceeding rupees 5000 the sanction of the government is necessary igp can give sanction to all expenditures regarding to the jail if the budget provisions are there he can sanction the expenditure for each item up to 2500 and for public works up to 5000 rupees if the expenditures are increased or more than 5000 rupees then the government sanction is necessary next power of igp is he can sanction payments of rewards for recapture of the escaped prisoners if the prisoners are run away from the jail then it is the duty of the state to recapture him hence igp has a power to sanction payment of rewards for recapture of such escaped prisoners the igp has been empowered to sanction temporary appointments and approve contracts for the supply of jail requirements the igp has power to sanction temporary appointments as well as to approve contracts for the supply of jail requirements the igp must inspect all the jails at least once a year he has to visit a jail once a year and has to inspect it he has power to appoint transfer punish or dismiss the subordinate jail officers he has power to transfer prisoners from one jail to another
The IJP is all in all in the administration of the jails. He has been entrusted with numerous powers to supervise the administration. The IGP is able to devote his time for effective inspection of the jail at regular intervals. These are powers given to IGP and he is the head of administration of the jail and jails are under his control. The next prison officer is Joint Inspector General of Prisons. The Joint Inspector General of Prisons look after the secretarial work of the IGP's office. He discharge all the functions which are delegated to him by IGP. The Joint IGP can pay his whole time attention to the administration of the jail. In short, a Joint Inspector General of the Prisoner have to do secretarial works of IGP's office and the works delegated to him by IGP. He can pay his whole time and attention for the administration of the jail, same as an Inspector General of the Prisons. The next prison officer is a Special Officer, Jail Reforms. The special officers must look after the reformatory aspect of the jail administration. The task of revising the jail manual should also be entrusted to him. The concept of punishment and theories of punishment now has been changed. The reformation of the prisoners is a prior motto of prison system. Hence, the special officers are appointed for the reformation of the prisoners. He has also a special task of revising jail manual. The next officer of the prison is jail superintendent. The superintendent is a person on which the efficient administration of the jail depends. He works under the control of IGP. He must report to the IGP from time to time about the state of affairs of the jail. He must obey all orders issued by the district magistrate in respect of his prison. The jail superintendent is subordinate officer of IGP and he has to report to IGP from time to time about the affairs of the jail. He must obey the orders issued by the district magistrate in respect of his jail. He must communicate to the IGP all the orders issued by the district magistrate and the action taken thereupon. He is the mediator between district magistrate and IGP. He has to communicate each and every order issued by the district magistrate to the IGP and action taken by him thereon. When the medical officer is superintendent of jail, he must discharge the function of the superintendent in addition to his medical duties. The jail superintendent must have a sound knowledge of the rules relating to the jail. The medical officer of the jail can also be appointed as a superintendent of a jail and in this case he has to discharge the function of superintendent of jail in addition to his medical duties. The jail superintendent must have a sound knowledge of the rules relating to the jail. He is responsible for the effective execution of all the rules. It is the power of superintendent of jail to maintain discipline in a jail. He must punish all those who commit prison offenses. We will discuss prison offenses in detail in next lecture. The superintendent of jail has the power to punish all the person who commits the prison offenses. 
the next power given to superintendent of jail an order book is maintained by the superintendent in his own hand and all orders issued by him are noted therein the jail superintendent has to maintain an order book it is the duty of the jail superintendent to visit the jail on all working days and if necessary on holidays also when the superintendent were part time officers they did not visit the jails regularly the jail superintendent generally accompanies the igp when the igp visits the jail and other official visitors if they desire his presence the jail superintendent is entrusted with the duty to visit jail on all the working days and if it is necessary then he has to visit the jail in holidays also if the igp is going to visit the jail then superintendent of jail has to accompany him and if other officers also visits the jail then if his presence is required then the superintendent of the jail must be present at the time of such visits all jail expenditures are regulated by the superintendent he must see that the manufacturing department is working efficiently the superintendent of jail has control over the jail expenditure he must see the manufacturing department is working properly he is also responsible for the proper maintenance of all jail property and office records cases of epidemics unusual sickness escapes recaptures suicides or deaths must be reported immediately to the igp by the superintendent the jail property and office records are under control of the superintendent of a jail hence it is responsibility of the superintendent of a jail to take a proper maintenance of the jail property and office records if any prisoner is suffering with the epidemics or unusual sickness or any prisoner is escaped or recaptured or any prisoner commits suicide or death in the jail then the superintendent of a jail must report it immediately to the igp when officers appointed by igp or the inspector general of civil hospitals violates jail rules they may be suspended by the superintendent all such suspension must be reported to the igp when igp appoints other jail officers or the inspector general of the civil hospitals if they violates the jail rules then the superintendent of a jail has power to suspend them and if he exercise this power then he has to report it to igp officers who are appointed by the jail superintendent may be suspended reduced dismissed or punished otherwise by him the superintendent must prevent smoking in the jail nobody should be allowed to smoke the superintendent himself should set an example it means the superintendent himself cannot smoke in a jail premises as well as he must restrict other person from smoking in jail he has to set his example next power given to superintendent it is desirable that the superintendent should be able to understand the language of the district in which the jail is situated so that he can converse with the prisoners so he can have conversation with the prisoners easily he can understand their problem in their language hence then knowing of language is important aspect
next power given to superintendent is it is duty of the superintendent to transact all business connected with the jail within its precincts the jail superintendent must submit annually confidential report about the subordinate officials from the above it is clear that the jail superintendent is a center of all activities everything depend upon him everything is done under his control and supervision so long the jail superintendent were part time superintendent officer then they had no time to look after the jail problems and activities in detail sometimes they visited the jail and looked into files after the appointment of full time superintendent they are in position to do all the activities necessary for jail administration the next prison officer is medical officer the duties of medical officers are laid down in general terms in the prison act 1894 he must act according to the rules made by the local government the powers and duties of medical officers are as follows he must inform the superintendent of any special case of serious illness of the prisoner he must notify the death of the prisoner the medical officer accompanies the igp when the latter inspect the jail he must be present at weekly inspection of the jail by the superintendent in short a medical officer has to communicate serious illness of the prisoner death of the prisoner to the superintendent and when igp is going to inspect the jail the presence of medical officer is required next power and duty of the medical officer is he must treat all subordinate jail officer and their families residing in the jail premises being medical officer he has to provide his treatment to the prisoners also as well as to the jail officers and their families also he must maintain a minute book in which he must note any defect in any food served clothing or bedding provided for the prisoners any important event in the hospital administration he must submit periodical report to igp it must however be noted that medical officer is more or less independent so far as the jail administration is concerned all subordinate medical officers work under his control it is duty of the medical officer to check hygiene of the prison also he has to note any defect provided for the prisoners in food clothing or bedding also in his minute book next prison officer is jailer the jailer must reside within the jail compound but he may stay outside with the written permission of the superintendent the jailer is the chief executive officer of the jail jailer has to reside in jail compound but he can reside outside if there is a written permission of the superintendent there are following powers and duties imposed upon jailer it is his duty of jailer to see that all rules and orders are observed in the jail by all concerned he is expected to see every prisoner and every part of the jail at least once in 24 hours the jailer is bound to check quality of the prison he has to visit within a 24 hours to the jail he has to check that all rules and orders are followed by the concerned means prisoners as well as other jail officers also next power and duty he must search the prisoner once a week and distribute work among them 
he is also responsible for the maintenance of the jail garden and supply of good food to the prisoners the jailer is held responsible for the custody and enforcement of warrant as per the ability of the prisoner he has to distribute to works among the prisoners as well as he is responsible for the maintenance of jail garden and he has to check the quality of food also the jailer is held responsible for the custody and enforcement of the warrants though it is primary duty of the jailer to control the prisoners he also exercises general supervision over the work of the jail officers the jailer maintain a report book and enters therein connected matters regarding the daily administration of the jail the report is submitted to the superintendent for his perusal and comment the jailer report generally deals with the r of locking and unlocking of the barracks of prisoners and the officer responsible for that the number of prisoners admitted discharged and locked up for the day for misbehavior of the prisoners he has power to use the force against the prisoners and states the reasons thereof the daily report must be serially numbered dated and signed by the jailer means a jailer is watchdog of the jail he has to prepare a report regarding locking and unlocking of the barracks of prisoners and he has authority to punish the prisoners who violate the rules of jail the jailer carries out all urgent direction of the medical officer regarding sick prisoners on the death of the convicts the jailer informs the superintendent and the medical officer of the jail and also the municipal chairman and district magistrate the jailer has to follow the direction given by the medical officer regarding to the sick prisoner on the occasion of death of any convicts he has to inform it to the superintendent medical officer municipal chairman and district magistrate also next next it is also duty of the jailer to keep the warders efficient drilled neat and clean he is also responsible for watch and ward of the jail when the jailer resigns or is transferred or discharged he must submit an inventory of the jail properly while handing over charge to his successor means in the case of jailer's resignation or his transfer or he if he is discharged from his duties then at the time of handing over his charge to his successor he has to take proper steps next it is the duty of the jailer to draw the attention of his successor to all special rules and orders relating to the jail next prison officer and his duties and power are as follow next prison officer is assistant jailer when the jailer is on leave his duties must be discharged by assistant jailer he must discharge the functions assigned to him by the jailer when the number of assistant jailer is more than one in a jail work is distributed among them by the jailer with the approval of the superintendent it means assistant jailer the name itself suggests that suggests that he is assistant of the jailer in case of the jailer's absence the assistant jailer and if there are more jail assistant jailers then they must work as per the direction given by the jailer with prior approval of the superintendent next prison officer is medical subordinate the medical officer is assisted by a medical subordinate in medical administration of the jail in the absence of medical officer the medical subordinate is responsible for the treatment of the prisoners he must discharge all functions which are assigned to him by the medical officers there are other prison officers also some duties and powers are also given to them so that 
uh, administration of the jail can run smoothly. Thank you for listening to me. I hope it will be beneficial to you. In any difficulties, please leave your comment in comment box. Thank you.